Hello everybody, it's Tea Time Tunes and it's a particularly happy day today. Look at this, a new teapot. The missus bought me a new teapot. She knows how to keep a middle-aged Englishman happy. Look at that lovely Chinese tea in there, in my little dinky Chinese cup. And it pours, ooh, careful, it pours beautifully. Cheers. Ah, and it's got a little burner as well, it's got a little tea light thing that sits on. I, want to, I won't move that about because I'm a bit paranoid after the little accident the other day. Okay, it's Tea Time Tunes number 144 on the 24th of May. This is about tape five. Um, and uh, my little friend there with the wonky ear has, uh, has joined us uh, on stage. I don't know what his name is. Um, uh, wonky ear, I think, might be from... The fact that he fell down the side of the sofa. He's been down there for about three weeks, I think. We didn't notice because he's so he's so dark. We, we couldn't see him underneath all the junk. So bless him. He's uh, he's going to take pride of place on the main stage. Try and make up for it today. So we'll sit up straight then. Okay, right. Put my old bells on my feet. There we go. We'll have the usual stuff today. A joke from. The Man Walks Into a Bar book, which, um, whatever you think about its quality, there's quite a lot of quantity. So uh, that's all I'll say about that. Um, I want to have a lovely, lovely looking snack. and uh, uh, But most importantly, we're going to do a Jim Reeves song. He'll have to go. A gentle sort of waltz. Um, Jim Reed's very popular in, in lots of my groups, particularly uh, particularly the Hackney group. The Caribbean ladies of the Hackney group tend to really like a bit of Jim Reeves. And this is a little, a gentle little waltz, which is a, it's like a gateway drug to the rock and roll. You play a gentle waltz and people get up and they go, oh, have a little waltz, have a little waltz, and then hit them with a bit of Elvis after that and off they go. Um, Talk to which Elvis, I think, did a did a version of this song. Um, I think it was released after he died. Um, but uh, I prefer the Jim Reeves version. So, not too fast, it says on the sheet down there. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah? Ready? Okay. <laughs> Put your 
your sweet lips a little closer to the phone. Let's pretend we're together all alone. I'll tell the man to turn the jukebox way down low. And you can tell your friend there with you, he'll have to go. completed a version of this song and all the introduction and everything and uh, hammers and knocked on the door. I blame myself. We were nearly at the end. Hadn't done the joke, hadn't done the snap. But that version was better anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What have we got today snack wise? Going to make you jealous. Look at this. An almond croissant. Croissant. An almond croissant. Croissant. I should have cut it. After all the bon maman madeleines, I should have said that properly, shouldn't I? En croissant. <laughs> yes, from from Holt White's paper. Actually, just notice this looks uncannily like the Isle of Wight. For all my Isle of Wight fans, here we go. An Isle of Wight shaped croissant. Maybe there is a gap in the market there uh, for any for any Isle of Wight based um, pastry patisserie shops. Let's have a bite. Hmm. I think we just lost the needles. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, turn us them down certainly. Anyway. What's the joke today? When the man walks into the bar. Well, first off, a little joke I saw today about the shortage. There's going to be a shortage of um, Cadbury's flakes. That's an actual thing. There's going to be a shortage. Something to do with Brexit. There's going to be a shortage of Cadbury's flakes for for uh, for the ice creams for for the ninety nines or the. Uh, all the ice cream vans, it's going to be a shortage. And that's, you know, such an important part of the British summer that uh, people are going to be protesting in their hundreds and thousands. In the, in their hundreds, okay, never mind. Um, what's this one? Oh yes, okay. Gardening based joke. <laughs> a little boy goes up to old Ned the gardener and says, what do you put on your rhubarb? Well, says Ned, usually rotted horse manure. Oh, really, said the boy. We usually have custard. On your root to grow it and to, instead of to eat it. Okay, um, that's enough. That's enough jokes. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow we are going to do. I can see clearly now. The rain has gone. The uh, is it Johnny Nash? I think isn't it? Yeah, yeah. A bit upbeat. We've had a nice slow one today. We'll go upbeat tomorrow. Right. See you tomorrow on uh, on the twenty fifth of May. He says, uh, for tune number one hundred and forty five. Have a lovely day, folks. Bye.